on the mob planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, seven, seven, cutty. Fam, so uh, I blasted in this video the other day, but I was like, I didn't do a, a, a video on it. You know, get share my thoughts, as you know I do. But Ronnie Stanley um, put out a little Instagram video. Uh, he walked two miles. And you know, he had all the ankle procedures and everything. And I think for the last, what, two years? I think for the last, like, two years, he only played, like, seven games, something like that. But... You know he's a huge part of the Ravens offense because we got Morgan Moses, which I'm awesome. Awesome. I'm waiting for all the signings and everything to be said and done before I do my Eric DeCosta free agency type signings. You know, the draft is in, I believe, like in two weeks, three days. You know, something just like that. You know, I, I ain't keeping track. If I had the time, I'd take it too. But, uh, yeah, so that's, like, really good news to see. I believe, and I'm praying and hoping, Ronnie Stanley's going to come back 100%, dominate like he was. But, man, it just, this could be the year. People sleeping on us. We Everybody coming back healthy. We gonna have some younger players, young, faster players. Got a ball hawk in the back, new defense coordinator. Greg Roman, it's his time. It's like it's no excuses. No excuse. Last year he had the excuse. Oh, everybody banged up and everything. This year, no excuses. But Ronnie Stanley solidifying that left tackle. Moses. We gonna see what they gonna do with the center still. Cause I know they still they say you know uh, Makari or whatever how he says name can play center too. But you never know. It, it could be you know smoke and mirrors because the draft is right there, and they you know they had the liar presser the other week. So you just never know.